So hello everyone, I'm Ms. Garcia. And I'm Mrs. Vargas. Um, thank you for coming to our parent night tonight. Um, this is Ellison's Helping Exceptional Student Learners Achieve Success. Today we just wanted to go over what Ellison ESL provides and how it's a little bit different from middle school and just to get you a chance to get to know us a little bit better. So first things first, um, what is the ESL program? Uh, what it's not is simply a computer lab or a hangout spot for the ESL students, though a lot of our ESL students do like to come visit us, uh, especially in the mornings. Um, but what it is, is a lab with technology and one-on-one -on -one support, a whole curriculum academic support. What that means is that uh, we don't just offer support for English, we will also help them with their other courses like history, science, math. Um, we also have English classes that are led by um, us. We have ESOL 1, ESOL 2, which is freshman and sophomore English, and then also basic English for our newcomers. And we are also advocates for 160 plus active ESL students, which means they're eligible to receive our services. And then um, we also monitor 150 plus students that have actually left our program. Um, and within the first two years, we monitor to make sure that they're successful. And then we also offer in-person and virtual tutoring. Okay, so at Ellison, we do advocate for you and for the ESL students. Um, that is what we thrive for. Um, so this is a bitmoji of myself, Ms. Vargas, uh, and this is a bitmoji of Ms. Garcia, who we are both ESL teachers in the program. And we also have our two aides, um, Mrs. Horner, which is uh, Mrs. Garcia's ESL assistant and Mrs. Smith, which, which is my ESL assistant. Okay, so what makes the ESL program different uh, at high school? Because we do know that middle school is a little bit different. Um, one of the main things is that we have both a physical and a virtual ESL lab that we will show you um, at the end of the presentation. And we also provide in-person and virtual tutoring. These are kind of new things, especially with the COVID pandemic happening. We want to make sure that we're there for both our, our in-person students and our virtual students. Um, so your students will see this ESL lab in their Schoology course. Um, that is where they can reach us. Also, we do not pull students from class. They request to come to the lab um, and they have to ask their teachers and be granted permission. Um, so we will never pull your student from class unless there's a special circumstance with certain testing or anything like that. So we're trying to keep those kids in class as much as possible so that they're getting as much information from their teachers as they can. We also provide uh, ninth grade and 10th grade ESL English classes. Right now, Ms. Vargas teaches those. Um, and then we also have basic English for newcomers where we teach them things like grammar and vocabulary so that they can be successful when they're out there in the classes. Okay, so what makes high school different testing in the testing world um, versus um, let's say middle school? So in the state of Texas, students are required to take and pass all high school STAR EOCs. So what is the STAR EOZ exam? So STAR EOZ exams are given um, towards the end April, May timeframe for the classes of English one, English to algebra, biology, and US history. Um, and it is an annual state test that is, assesses the knowledge of specific courses, which are the ones that I mentioned. Um, so what STAR EOCs will students take in high school? So during the spring semester, excuse me, during the spring semester, um, basically what they do is they take the um, EOC uh, exams, but it depends on what grade you're in. So ninth graders, they take the English one, algebra one, and biology, because those are the courses that they are currently in in ninth grade. Tenth grade, they do the English two star, and then their eleventh grade, they do the U.S. history. But sometimes um, students will fail these tests, and we don't really want you to worry too much, even though they need them to graduate, uh, because they do have other retakes that they're able to take uh, that are offered in summer school, fall, and spring. So we do have some students that have taken them over and over again. Uh, but the good thing about ESL is we do offer remediation for those uh, STAR exams for English. And then for the other courses, we try to get them into remediation courses. Huh. 
Um, and also, um, we do provide um, accommodations because they are ESL students. So they do receive certain accommodations like um, content and language supports and text to speech. So um, Ellison ESL Services Ensuring Success. So this is the physical. So this, this year it has been a little bit different because of COVID. So we do have the physical ESL lab and the Schoology one. So both offer one-on-one -on -one assistance. Um, the physical ESL laptop, I mean ESL lab, I'm sorry. And we also offer laptops that students can use for their classes, supplies, and we also offer tutoring. Um, similarly, the lab, the Schoology ESL lab is offers one-on-one -on -one assistance as well. Um, it provides updates and reminders for important dates and important things going on around campus. Um, it also provides a bunch of digital resources to better assist and support students in that way and tutoring as well. So tutoring we offer both in-person and virtual. So um, virtual is upon student requests. So students can message us through Schoology and say, hey, um, for example, Ms. Vargas, um, I need some help in my English three class. Will you be able to assist me? And then we can just um, take it from there, schedule a, a meeting time, and then we can virtually tutor and help the student in any form or in any way or whatever they need. Um, we also offer um, in the lab star resources and remediation as Ms. Garcia had mentioned. So we have in-person virtually, so those are there for all of our ESL students um, stored in Schoology ESL Lab. And also um, go check out Mrs. Garcia's YouTube channel. There's a lot of good resources there as well. And we always advocate for our students and we also provide um, parent resources. So parents, if you have any doubts or any questions, you can always feel free to contact us via message or contact the school and we'll gladly help. Um, I myself, I speak Spanish. So for those parents who have limited English, I'm here to help in any way that you need me to. Okay, and so um, we are definitely here to help and advocate for our students. We try our best to uh, meet the needs of our students and support them so that they are successful because uh, we have some really great students and really intelligent and we wanna make sure that they graduate and go on to lead productive lives. But we don't want you just to take our word for it, uh, take it from some current uh, eagles. So this is Miss Mimi. Uh, she's a 12th grader here. And um, she basically talks about how we offer one-on-one -on -one assistance, uh, whether it's also group sometimes. Sometimes they'll come as a group and we do kind of teach them as a whole. Uh, and that we're always willing to help them. We don't just push them aside. We, we sit there and we work step-by-step -step with them to ensure that they're successful. Um, then we have Jose, who's also a 12th, grade, uh, 12th grader, and he just basically states that we assist him whenever he needs support, and he, he can come to us whenever he needs. And what's really awesome about these two uh, 12th graders is they've already been accepted into college. Um, they have been in our program for all four years that they've been here, and so they've been just doing really great. And we also want you to... Uh, get some feedback from our beloved former Eagles. These are uh, students that have left Ellison, but we, they're still dear to us. So we have Jefferson, he was class of 2020, and he basically just talked about how we were there whenever we, he needed us. We have Miss Leka, she also got, uh, graduated 2020, and that we helped her be successful and provided encouragement when she doubted herself, because that's sometimes what our students need. It's just a little boost of uh, confidence to know that they can uh, do it. And then we have Brian here who talks about coming from Mexico to Texas and really struggling and that we really did support him as he went uh, down his high school path and he is the first of his family to graduate with a high school diploma so he was really proud of himself and we were really proud of him and he just basically says that he's grateful for our program. And then finally we have Mr. Uh, Jasper all day. Um, we are super proud of Jasper. He's from class of 2019. He now lives in New York City. Um, he's been there for about two years. Uh, he was part of the newspaper when we were when he was here at the high school. 
And he came to the United States with very little knowledge of English. And within three years, he really worked hard and um, built his confidence and used the resources we provided. And now, I mean, he speaks great English. Like I said, he's a really great writer and he is in college up there in New York. So definitely take a look at that. Um, this presentation is gonna be posted so that you guys can um, read it a little bit more in depth. So always know that whether you're in person or virtual, LSN ESL is here for you. So you just feel free to reach out. Um, and I could say that the ESL department is always advocating for their students. And we're always going that extra mile to help our kids. And so before we leave, I do wanna show you um, what some of those resources look like. So if you go into Schoology, you'll see the ESL lab. And um, all of our ESL students have access to it. We post important announcements here, like um, the parent night, and also like updates and resources. Some of the resources are down here. So you have your evening academy, which is really important, especially with uh, the COVID year that we had. Some of our students really need to make up some credits. Take a look at that. We have how-to videos. Um, we have the bell schedule. We have technology. You can also access both mine and um, Ms. Vargas's tutoring course uh, sessions here. So whenever you set up a, ses a session with us, this is where you find us. And like I said, we also have ES, uh, English remediation and you can click on here, uh, whether you're in English one or two or taking those tests, we have all of our stuff in here. And then again, um, the videos that you see if sometimes they're messing up because Schoology actually messes up sometimes, you can go to my, um, YouTube page and we have writing resources and even some basic English things for everybody. So definitely try to use the resources that we provide. I definitely think that'll help you become successful. Um, as Ms. Vargas stated, uh, we definitely advocate for our students and we wanna support them in all the ways possible. So if you have any questions, please reach out. Um, Ms. Vargas does speak Spanish so she can help you and we're always here to help you.